happy Halloween! Nosy House Frau Carrie here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're a loyal viewer who knows that this channel is the first place you've ever seen an alien that looked quite like this. <laughs> Lass mich heute Abend blicken, ich komm gut geschmückt in den Laden geritten. Alle tanzen, die Damen sind echt ein Zücken, ganz Backblech voller Sahne. Okay, I gotta keep this down and make it quick so I can turn off the lights before those kids start knocking for all this candy I want to eat. So, you saw this here first, it couldn't have possibly been anywhere else. <laughs> this is a book written by my brother Phil. He did the artwork. And then his daughter, who's a professional artist, actually drew it out. He did like a rough sketch and she drew it out. So Laura Mills is the first person to ever think of an alien look like this. Or Phil Mills, because he drew it first. So it's from my brother. And I don't know what his connections are, but that's his book. And I had it on my channel six months ago. And that was before Hot Topic. And Hot Topic is the Hot Topic, if you're not already aware. Sorry, Phil. Hot Topic... <laughs> And Jeffree Star have both come out with alien head uh, palettes. Palettes is the word. Sorry. I'm thinking of the chocolate. I'm just having chocolate and some Diet Coke. Health week. So anyway. Oh, is that a brat knocking? I'm kidding. I'm actually lo really looking forward to it. <laughs> so anyway. Galactic Hot Topic has come out before Jeffree Star's Alien. Did Jeffree Star steal their makeup? No, there's no possible way he stole their idea, rather, not makeup. Because he works on his stuff for a long time, and he's always said he was an alien. It was a matter of time. In fact, when he said he had a new palette coming out, I was wondering, is this the one that's space-based? So a lot of people were wondering if somebody, something leaked or somebody stole from somebody. And in fact, I don't know. I know Jeffree didn't steal it. Hot Topic has a history, though, that's questionable, and I'm going to link a video below from Beauty Truth Sleuth about their past that you might find very interesting. But really, this is all a distraction because none of you are asking the right question, which is, is Jeffree Star an alien? All you have to do is a quick Google search and you'll start putting the pieces together just like I did. Yes, he is. I am completely convinced of that. And here's the thing, okay? This isn't a conspiracy because it's true. If it was just my idea and there was no proof to back it up, that's a conspiracy, you know, like between him and the planets and whatever, and maybe he's conquering worlds with beauty. We don't know. But a lot of people saw this picture and thought that that was Jeffrey in makeup. None of you thought that it's the other outfit that's the makeup? You don't think those tattoos could be covering a zipper? All right, let me show you what I found out when I was Googling, okay? A pink UFO has been sighted numerous times. My hand to whomever, Google pink UFO. Who, who, who could have a pink UFO, okay? You take the names of all his dogs, Diva, Diamond, da 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 and they're all da-da-da-da-da. He's laughing at us, okay? He's an alien. Also, he's very thin, and he loves sweets, and he doesn't gain any weight. He's an American who's not gaining weight, even though he loves to You're telling me he doesn't know the McRib is back out? It's all starting to make perfect sense. He lives in that big mansion. It's like, Jeffrey, how'd you get your money? Oh, I sell purses. Really? Because I can't unload this vintage coach. It looks like Trisha Paytas would love it. I've never even used it. Look, and I still have. What's your secret? I probably should put it up for sale, but that is neither here nor there. The fact is, I live like someone who's born on this planet. I have one car. It's a Kia, and I drive it to get the McRib. So. Let's talk about birthdays. Jeffree Star was born November 15th, 1985. What happened on that great day in history? I'll tell you. 15,000 people feared dead because of an explosive heat, volcanic eruption, or a landing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that tinfoil hat fun on Halloween. And if you're new here, I hope I didn't scare you away. I promise I'm much more normal normally. In fact, just before I filmed this video, I was playing with the brand new palette I got.